Welcome to another Meeples and Milkshakes Board Game Cafe unboxing video. I am Jim. We have 12 boxes to unbox from a few different distributors today. And one of the boxes is actually like some parts that were miss missing from our previous shipment of Combo Fighter that were supposed to be in the box and aren't, so the distributor sent them. Anyway, we'll get to that and uh, let's see what we have in this one. This is not that box. This box contains just one game. This is Genotype, a Mendelian genetics game. And uh, it looks gorgeous. And I bought it because it looked cool and looked like uh, something people would like. We have brought in other uh, science and education type games like, uh, what was it? Um, Lovelace and Babbage. And a few others and I've been like oh you know I, I like this because I like science and education stuff but I don't know who's gonna want it and then they always sell just like that so I thought sure I'll bring this in this is brand new and uh, I've seen it popping up on other uh, stores as well so uh, it looks pretty good definitely will you should check out um, board game geek if you are interested in uh, genetics or any of that kind of stuff looks pretty cool also in that box in the bottom kind of hiding in this paper is a copy of Tasha's Cauldron of Everything this is the standard edition of it um, and uh, this is a, a cool book it's like a it's kind of like Xanathar's Guide to Everything which is like kind of an addition to the player's handbook but also a bit of stuff for DMs Dungeon Masters so it's a bunch of new options for player characters and DMs and magic items and all kinds of stuff. So it's a bit of everything, as the title says, and it's a really nice book. And uh, if you're a D&D 5th edition player, I highly recommend it. Well, I could not believe it when I saw this come back available at the distributor because, well, it even surprised my account rep. Uh, she didn't believe me when I said that it was in stock on the site, on their site. But here it is, actually in stock. Uh, we've been waiting a long, long time. We have a couple people waiting for this, uh, but a few of them will be left and available on meeples.ca and in store. And uh, this is a two-player game. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I have not had the chance to play it yet. Do we have this in the cafe library, Xavier? I think we do, yeah. And uh, maybe I'll uh, take it home and get the opportunity to play it looks really nice there it is finally been waiting forever for this next up we have another new game this is a one to four player game by Alexander Pfister called Monster Expedition uh, this is a card and dice game and I have not yet played this because it is literally brand new first time I'm looking at it an adventure in the world of Carnival of Monsters for one to four players. And it says here, uh, well, I've got two copies, so I'll hold it like this so we can read it together. Welcome to the Royal Monstro Monstrological Society. You're about to embark on an adventure to three exotic ecosystems, each teeming with legendary monsters. Manage your dice rolls carefully. They'll help you capture the most fer fer I can read. The most ferocious creatures, many of whose powers you can harness to ensnare additional beasts. You can also purchase or steal cages that allow you to keep your cat secret from the other players. But the key to success is to use the dice to build up your base camp in this standalone game set in the world of Carnival of Monsters. And uh, yeah, looks pretty neat. Alexander Pfister is a very famous designer. Uh, some of my favorite games of his uh, include uh, Great Western Trail, Blackout Hong Kong, um, oh no, Black, uh, I just said Black of Hong Kong. There's so many, uh, Maracaibo, uh, anyway, the list goes on and on. Great, great designer, and uh, usually his games are in bigger boxes, although not entirely. He does make some smaller games like, um, Oh My Goods as well. So, uh, this one looks neat, and, um, considering all of the little card games I've played of his are awesome, I am looking forward to trying this one out. This is Monster Expedition. All right, this box was already open because it had a game in it we had to give to somebody who was waiting for it. This uh, shipment did come late this week. It was expected a couple days ago. So the uh, box actually says D&D &D Wrath of 
Asher Dallin, and that was the game that was in the box that we took out. So unfortunately, we don't get to uh, gawk at it and, and say, ooh, ah. Um, I have not even seen that game myself in person, so I'm a little sad because I wasn't here when it was uh, given to the person who ordered it, but I'm glad it was. This is a restock of Clank Adventuring Party, which is a cool expansion for Clank that makes you uh, be able to play up to six players and adds a bunch of other cool things as well. So it's been a little while since we've restocked that. That's really neat. And then also a restock uh, just came in of Tournament at Avalon. This is the follow-up to Tournament at Camelot, which is a really fun uh, take that uh, trick-taking game. Uh, and I have not had the chance to play Avalon yet, although I'm looking forward to it, and especially because it can be combined with Tournament, Tournament at Camelot. Uh, this is a three to six player game like Tournament at Camelot, uh, but if you have both, you can actually play seven to eight players, which sounds very, very cool. All right, here are some puzzles. All right, so we have some puzzles from Gibson's. This is Pots and Penny Farthings. Uh, I'm noticing this thousand piece puzzle comes in a slightly smaller box than their 1000 piece puzzles used to come in. And I do remember seeing a, um, a art article from them saying that uh, every year they look for ways in order to reduce their uh, environmental footprint. And uh, I believe this is one of the ways we're doing that. Yeah, it says actually here new, on the back, new planet-friendly box, kinder to our planet, no plastic shrink wrap, smaller box, 100% recycled puzzle board, uh, www.gibsongames.co.uk for more info. So good on them. Is it Earth Day today? Or is that tomorrow? Anyway. In time for Earth Day is these awesome uh, puzzles from Gibson's that have uh, better packaging, which I appreciate. Here's another one from them, Daffodils and Ducklings. Very pretty. And this being a UK company, a lot of their uh, puzzles are UK themed. Here's one called Keswick. And another one called Shetland Pony Club. There you go. And even more. This one is called Clock Tower Market. And we have Bert's Bath Night. These are all the thousand pieces so far. I think they might all be a thousand pieces. And then, ooh, I like this one because I like trains and train puzzles. This is Spotters at Doncaster. The Norseman, it says there on the front of that big train. Very nice. And we have Golden Hour. Another pretty uh, landscape picture. And Tempting Treats. I, I'm just trying to think, this would be like two boxes full of puzzles with their old packaging. I really appreciate them uh, reducing the size. Tempting Treats, Dogs and Cats. Changing of the Guard, oh, that was upside down. Uh, wow, that's cool. Um, some RAF planes of different generations. And we have Newcastle, older uh, scene there, and uh, looks also very, very nice. Okay, so that is at least, there might be more, I can't remember, but at least in this box, that's all the puzzles. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. This did not look like the rest, so I didn't realize it was a puzzle, but it is, and it's from Gibson's as well. It is the Puzzle of Positivity. This is awesome. This is your self-care puzzle right here. Stay strong, you will get through this. You are so strong and we'll get through this. You can do the thing, keep doing the thing. It can be easy to feel overwhelmed. Life can be hard, go easy on yourself. These are all good messages. I like it. Wow. So sometimes when uh, I'm ordering these puzzles on the distributor site, they don't even have pictures, so I can't even tell what they look like. I just like the title of that one. Uh, but boy, if I had realized how cool this one was, I might have ordered more. Anyway, we have one and hopefully I can get more, but knowing the state of puzzles, uh, probably not, uh, at least for a while. But I bet you that one will get reprinted for sure. All right, next up we have a um, new game from the Tiny Epic series by Gamelin Games. This one by Scott Elms, Tiny Epic Pirates. Includes seven mini ships. This is a... Um, 
uh, it says here what defines a tiny epic game easy entry high strategy low downtime short play time high replayability and small box so again i do appreciate small boxes the game plays one to four players in 30 to 60 minutes in tiny epic pirates you helm a notorious pirate ship in the swashbuckling days of yore guide your ship and crew through the unforgiving seas in search of fame and fortune plunder settlements trade booty on the black market hire scurvy crew members and avoid the ever vigilant royal navy be the first pirate to bury three treasures and you can declare yourself the most nefarious dread pirate of the seven seas so we have that and then we also have an expansion which is right here called i don't know if i'm going to say that right but uh curse of the amdiac yeah, every sea dog has heard of the legend of the ghost pirate Amdiac, it says here on the box. There you go. So we've got two of those to go along with three copies of the base game. Ooh, here we are. So this is the thing that was missing from our shipment last week. I get to open this up. This is the uh, new uh, set of Keyforge packs. We had um, the deluxe packs and we had the starter sets. But now we have the regular decks, and these come in new packaging. So previously, all sets before came in cardboard packing like this. There you go. And now they come in plastic packaging. So I don't know if this is a move forward or backwards in terms of environmental friendliness. Uh, I'm not an expert, but I am questioning this decision maybe it's cheaper but what I do know is that the price on these decks is cheaper than the decks for any other previous set uh, at their initial release so that is exciting so we have 12 decks of uh, Keyforge Dark Tidings and I, it does look like the box is thinner it is actually so going with our smaller uh, packaging theme you see a reduction in the size of the box which is a good thing especially in a world where shipping is so behind uh, because of the state of the world, uh, the ability to move more products faster is definitely a good thing. All right, and last in this particular box, we have a restock of Viticulture, which is an awesome uh, medium, medium heavy Euro game by um, Jamie Stegmeier, uh, published by Stonemeyer Games. A one to six player game that plays great at uh, all player counts, that, uh, and I've played almost all the player counts except Solitaire. And it is a wonderful game in which you are setting up a, a winery and you are planting uh, grapes in, in your uh, harvesting your fields, you're making wine, you're fulfilling orders, you're having visitors come into your uh, winery, you are uh, purchasing buildings and improving your irrigation and all these kind of little things that have to do with uh, uh, being a um, having a vineyard and uh, this does a great job of it. It's a lot of fun. I've played this a ton of times and it's one of my favorite uh, Euro games for sure. If you have not tried this or maybe you played at a friend's house, well, here's your opportunity to take it home as well. Meeple.ca and in store, Viticulture. So, I'm excited about this. We have at least two copies of this already spoken for. The rest will be available. Uh, I don't think we've had this since last fall. Uh, and so very happy to have it in again. This is a team-based party game. It's very, very fun. And what you are trying to do in this game, one person on your team will give you a clue. And uh, for example, they might give you the clue uh, coffee. They, they, were, they picked up a card and the card said, uh, hot to cold and so that is a spectrum always in this uh, game you'll pick up clues that are like a spectrum of values like big and small hot and cold uh, cheap and expensive whatever that kind of thing right and so in this case uh, and then on the back of the box you see that third picture there's that band there with four three and two that's a number of points that your team can get the person giving the clue saw that the uh, band was sort of to the left of the middle and so they decided to give the clue coffee because coffee is sort of hot but not like as hot as the sun or an oven right anything like that or fire so that's kind of hot and so they wanted your team 
to guess by talking amongst themselves and guess where they should put that needle that you see there on the second picture. And then once they've decided, it's revealed where the uh, band is, and then hopefully you got right in the middle, but you might not have, and you might only get three points instead of four points. And uh, yeah, so you're trying to get, I think, 10 or 12 points or something before your opponent, uh, the opponent team does. Uh, it's a very, very fun uh, uh, party game. It encourages a lot of discussion and, and thought. Uh, and even still, it is a lot of fun. And uh, Wolfgang Warsh is an excellent designer. He's designed a lot of really fun games. And uh, I was very excited last year when this came out. And uh, we actually, actually maybe it was the end of the 2019. All time makes no sense to me anymore because of what's been going on. But uh, we got to play this a couple times at the uh, Penticton Cowork um, meetups uh, before the pandemic started and really, really enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is one that I'm looking forward to playing with people once uh, we're allowed to do that again. Uh, so we have, like I said, a couple of these copies already spoken for and the rest available for you to take home. So that's Wavelength. All right, as I mentioned before, we were running a bit low on some of these awesome How About Kids games because somebody decided they wanted to collect them all like they were Pokemon. Uh, and so we had to bring them back in. This is Tidy Up. This is a two plus game, uh, my very first games edition, Haba. And it encourages organizing, recognizing, and naming objects and creative play. There we go, that is back in stock. And we have a couple here, Fishy Fishy. This is a really cool uh, game as well. Uh, also ages two plus. And it looks like a lot of fun and encur also encourages free play, first understanding of game rules and hand-eye coordination. There we go, we've got a couple of those. And it's been a little while since we've had this, I think. This is Rhino Hero Super Battle. So this is the big edition uh, of Rhino Hero, which we have in stock and like to keep in stock because it's a really fun game for uh, kids and adults alike. Uh, don't be fooled, it's not just for kids and uh, it is a lot of fun. So it is a stacking game. You are going to be taking these cards and literally bending them and trying to stack them so that you can go higher and higher and higher. And it is very, very fun to watch being played as well as uh, to play. You can feel the tension in the room, kind of like Jenga, but in, in the same way as Jenga, uh, the tension, but it's different. And uh, little kids love it and uh, I, I've known adults to really enjoy playing it too. So that is Rhino Hero Super Battle. Aha. So we have some more of the Hobbit games. We have Hannah Honeybee, another two plus game here. Oh, I love, you know, Haba, such great components. Uh, that's one of the things I love about these games. They're all very high quality. This game encourages recognizing and naming colors, develops team spirit, and uh, encourages a first understanding of game rules. Hannah Honeybee. Next up, I think we might actually still have one of these, but uh, I can't remember. It might be sold out. This is Building Site, which is a really cool uh, looking game as well. Uh, it comes with that nice truck you saw there on the front. It encourages re uh, you to recognize and match colors and shapes and free play. Another beautiful game by this uh, German company, Haba. Here is a game that we keep on bringing in one at a time and then selling within like a week or less and I'm thinking, well, I guess we'll bring it. And then it sells again and again and again. So this time we brought in two. So don't, don't prove me wrong here. If uh, you've been looking for some fun escape games and you like the Star Wars universe, and there are three scenarios here for you, uh, three different um, escape room style uh, games that you can play and replay with your friends. And uh, yeah, there we are. Now, these are, oh right, because it's in a tin, I, I like this. They did not ship them like this before, but I appreciate that they did now. So this is a restock of another Haba game. This is Monza. This is the 20th anniversary of this colorful racing game. Another uh, game that is uh, for ages five to 99, two to four player game that takes only 15 minutes. It comes in a gorgeous tin and the game itself looks very fun. 
some people that I've been speaking with say that this is actually one of Hava's best games. So I have not had the chance to play it myself yet, but I think uh, we might, yes, we do have a copy in our library. So that's something to look forward to as well as seeing uh, kids enjoying this one at the library someday. We have two copies of this. Remember I said we were getting more of Hadrian's Wall? Well, here it is. We only had one copy in the first shipment, but we have two more in this one. One to six player game by Garfield Games. Uh, and uh, here it is, a couple more of these. And then one more copy of Cobble and Fog because we're running short of that. This is a, an unmatched set that has Dracula, Jekyll and Hyde, Invisible Man and Sherlock Holmes in it. You can fight them against each other two to four player game and you can combine it with other unmatched sets like uh, Little Red Riding Hood versus Beowulf and uh, Bruce Lee and Jurassic Park, uh, Velociraptors versus Ingen, etc, etc. There's even a Deadpool set coming out this year and other Marvel sets and even more. Oh yeah, another copy of Tournament Avalon and uh, again, we talked about this earlier. And then uh, two copies of Lion of Lydia, which is a new game. I ordered this so long ago, I have since forgotten uh, much about it, except that it is designed by Johnny Pack, who is a designer I'm a big fan of. And uh, yeah, so it says here, uh, da -da 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 -da. it's a bag management and engine building game about the dawn of currency. Will you draft the best merchants to achieve your goals? Will you be the first to gain the most valuable properties? Will you master the new golden currency, currency, the Lions of Lydia? So, looks very cool. And uh, Bellwether Games are uh, lucky to have uh, uh, Johnny Pack. I don't know, maybe that's Johnny Pack's company, I don't remember, but uh, yeah, anyway, uh, Johnny Pack is a great designer and uh, I'm always excited to see a new game from him. This has some games that we're not allowed to sell before April 23rd, which shouldn't be a problem because it's after closing right now on the 22nd. So good timing in the sending of this one. All right, first up, we have four copies of the first uh, uh, volume of uh, 50 Clues. This is a, uh, it says here, a new and exciting angle on the whole escape room genre in which the puzzles feel pertinent and connect wonderfully with the story. So that's a quote by a reviewer. It's an immersive puzzle game that offers the escape experience of an escape room, but in a format that can be played at home. You combine objects, solve puzzles, and decipher codes to complete the story. Smartphone or, smartphone or tablet keeps track of the solutions and provides multi-step hints if need, the need arises. The story only makes sense to experience once, but the serial number can be activated 30 times. So you can uh, pass this off to your friends or sell it after you've played it and uh, then they can enjoy it as well which is cool that unlike the escape room or exit games uh, you can you, you can only play those once but this you can play multiple times this is part one of three it says there there are two um, more parts of course and those are actually available now we don't have them in here yet but depending on how well this does uh, we may bring in part two and three so if you're interested in part two or three, uh, let us know and we can definitely bring those in. Next up, this is called In the Palm of Your Hand and it is a new party game and it is for two to eight players. And I am kind of excited about this. I, I do wish we were in a time in the world where people were more comfortable touching each other and getting together to play games, of course, but this is one that I think people are going to really enjoy. It says, uh, Leon's box of souvenirs fascinates his grandchildren. Let's mime these photos to recreate grandfather's memories. He closes his eyes, holds out his hand, and the children mime a scene from his memories using a few objects. Will Leon be able to recall the correct memory based on what he feels in the palm of his hand? So, uh, yeah, you're literally going to be using these objects uh, to try to recreate a scene uh, using touch and wanting people to guess uh, which, and then, then uh, you, they have to, the cards will be laid out and they have to guess which card it was uh, that was done. So it's kind of uh, similar to Pictures, that game that was the 2020 uh, Spiel der Jahr winner, game of the year, but 
uh, instead of using components to uh, visually arrange them on the table to recreate a picture, you are using touch. And uh, boy, that is really innovative and something that I appreciate. I also like the box art. And uh, yeah, so this is one that I uh, hope I can see uh, people playing here at the cafe someday. Uh, these copies will not be in our library uh, yet, but uh, down the road, once uh, we can uh, have uh, big groups uh, come in, we will definitely want this in our library. It looks like an amazing cafe game in the palm of your hand. Okay, even more awesome Haba games. Here we have Nibble Munch Crunch, another two plus game from Haba. And well, there's actually, I think there's maybe four of this one. I can't remember if this is the one we ordered four of. Yeah, actually it says two games in one here, includes five uh, large, easy to grab wooden pieces, uh, adorable pets without the mess. Uh, for one to five players, ages two plus. Oh no, it's actually Critter Cruise is the one that I ordered four copies of. Uh, Critter Cruise, uh, this was recently uh, demoed uh, to, uh, lent to our goddaughter and she is in love with this game. They're playing it every day. Uh, she is three years old and this is a game for ages three to 99 for two to four, it's got two to four players. And uh, uh, it says find the right suitcases before everything floods. And uh, yeah, my, my uh, friends who are the parents of uh, my goddaughter are, have been telling me all about this game. They absolutely love it. And they said we should bring in a whole bunch of these and uh, we should talk about how awesome it is. So there it is. And there's four copies. And uh, yeah, if you're looking for a cool game for uh, your three-year-old or so, then this might be the one. Very uh, affordable as well. I don't remember the exact price, but it is very affordable. Critter Cruise. And then another copy of Tidy Up, which we were looking at earlier. And a couple copies of Barnyard Bunch. Uh, it says, uh, lucky dice rolls will lure the animals back to the barn. And uh, here we go. Beautiful looking game as all of these Haba games are. Uh, amazing colors and uh, component quality is amazing. Two to four player game, ages four to 99 this one. Takes only five to 15 minutes to play. Includes eight wooden animal figures. Easy to understand rules so you can start playing immediately. Uh, this looks like another uh, wonderful one from Haba. And here's the one I was telling you about at the very beginning of this video. It has the parts for Combo Fighter. Also a couple other games. Let us find, here they are. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable that they would forget to put the player mats in the box, but they did. And so what a sad little mix up that was for them, I'm sure. But um, yeah, uh, that is an unplayable game without those. So I'm glad that they told me before I started selling them and they got those off to me. So that is, uh, yeah, these are the, you need these <laughs> to play Combo Fighter. And I should mention, um, actually, I'm going to go, I'll be right back. I'm just going to go grab them and show them to you again because I totally described part of it wrong last time. So let me go grab that. All right, so here we are. Uh, I've gone and grabbed Combo Fighter, which I can now sell. This game, as you can see, contains the player mats and some cards. I describe these little ones as expansions. These are not expansions. I just was wrong, totally wrong. These are actually uh, standalone uh, versions of Combo Fighter. This little box has two unique uh, fighters in it, and so does this box, and so does this box. And they are standalone games. You do not need the base game to play. And this, if you really like Combo Fighter, or you're just like, I don't want just two, I want more variety, you can buy this, which has four unique fighters, and I do believe these are completely distinct from the ones in those three boxes, so that would mean there's a total of 10 available in four different boxes. I have since educated myself a bit better on uh, what this is since I spoke about it last time. I felt uh, really bad about butchering that. Uh, this is basically a very, very faithful reproduction of 
fighting video games like Street Fighter or Tekken, things like that. Um, uh, so it says here, Tom Vassell, the dice star, you probably know him if you're a board gamer. Tom Vassell, combo fighter may be the best I've seen in the genre. And um, uh, Quinn's from Shut Up to Sit Down had very similar sentiments. Um, they absolutely love this game. And they said that it really does uh, make you feel like you're playing uh, one of those video games. And the core, the core mechanic of this is like rock, paper, scissors. So it's effectively kind of like a rock, paper, scissors game, but with cards, you're simultaneously playing cards. And there's the three different colors, red, yellow, and blue, and they combine in different ways. And then if you, if you are successful, then you get to combo by laying down more cards and comboing more effects. Boy, does this ever sound like a lot of fun and it's for ages eight and up, one to four player game that takes 10 minutes. So literally 10 minutes, I, I can imagine this game even possibly taking five minutes uh, if it goes uh, really well for one player. So again, another, another comment here, the essence of arcade fighting games captured perfectly and in such a clever way. Um, it definitely simulates that button mashing experience in the arcade. And yeah, just uh, such overwhelmingly good reviews for this. And uh, now that I have all the bits, I can finally start selling it. And I will not incorrectly be dis uh, describing these little ones as expansions. These are, in fact, uh, little tastes of Combo Fighter. So come on down and pick up Combo Fighter. And we will give you the player mats, of course, that were not in the box. And uh, yeah, so thank you to um, Matigo and ILO307 for rushing those over to us. Let's continue with talking about what else is in this box. We have two games in here. Well, two games and an expansion. Quarry Flam, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Three to five player game by, uh, from Studio H. Designers Adrian and Axel Hessling, illustrated by Tomasz uh, Jadruszek. It says here, flip that over for you and we'll read it together the king has died without any descendants throughout the realm the most influential families try to seize power through conspiracy cunning and blood you are the head of one of those families play your cards face down to prepare your dirty schemes protect your interests or set up a cascade of actions reveal your machinations at the right moment and accumulate enough influence to occupy the throne so one of these is already spoken for and the other will be available on our site and in store. And then we also have the Ablaze expansion. Actually, it is also playable standalone. Let me be careful. Uh, and it can be combined with the base game. So there we go, Oriflam Ablaze. All right, and then lastly, the last item to look at in our last box is Al, 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 Alubari, a nice cup of tea. So this is a beautiful looking game by uh, Tony Boydell. Now Tony Boydell designed Foothills, which we should have here, here's Foothills. We have a few copies left of Foothills, so I wanna shout out Foothills because um, this is an amazing game. Uh, this is a uh, two-player game, a two-player medium weight Euro game. It is a very, very fun. Cheryl and I are in love with this game and uh, highly recommend this one. And then now there's this new game by the same designer, uh, Tony Boydell, and it's called Alubari. So let's look at this one together. One sec. One to five player game that takes 60 to 90 minutes for ages 14 and up. So you can see there's a bit of complexity in this based on that. 1856, the first tea estate is inaugurated in the Darjeeling area quickly enough. More than 80's other, 80 others will follow. In this refined and endearing game, one to five players will relive this major moment for the tea industry. Through the strategic placement of their workers, players can optimize their actions to successfully lay down the tracks to victory. So, uh, this looks really nice. I love the art. The designer was really uh, as soon as I saw it was a Tony Boydell game, I was like, okay, we got to bring this one in. He's just amazing. Uh, and uh, the art looks great. And uh, it's quite a, quite a cool looking game. It's got good rating as well. So there it is, Alubari. Very happy to have this in.
And that is it for this uh, epic unboxing of 12 boxes. So many cool new things here. We've got all those great puzzles in space saving boxes and Keyforge in space saving boxes and packaging. Awesome Haba kids games. The pieces we need for Combo Fighter. This one looks like it's going to be a hit for sure at the cafe someday. And uh, can't wait for that to happen. And uh, Monster Expedition, don't forget about that. 50 Clues, Tiny Epic Pirates, so much good stuff. And uh, even Wavelength, a restock of that that we waited, what, five months or so for? Uh, that's exciting. And uh, so a lot of special orders arriving today, which uh, is great, including that one that we didn't even get to look at. So sorry about that. And uh, But that shipment was late and uh, that customer was patiently waiting for way too long. So. Thanks for watching the video. We will be open this weekend and uh, uh, we'll have our patio open. And uh, that means that you can come and enjoy our sandwiches and salads again. And uh, also all our other baked goods and milkshakes. And also take home uh, games. We have a sale running our, for our first anniversary. And uh, that is running through the end of Sunday. And uh, so do check out the website. There's some incredible deals uh, still there. At the beginning of the sale, we had 531 items on sale, and I'm not sure the exact number anymore, but um, some, of, some of them are sold out, but I don't know the exact number, but there's still hundreds and hundreds of games on sale at amazing prices, so do uh, check that out, meeples.ca, and uh, come on down and uh, enjoy our new shakes. We have that awesome new lemon curd milkshake, which I'm absolutely in love with. Uh, it has a really cool texture. It almost feels more like um, like a whipped, milkshake to me uh, which is really you know I had no idea that was going to happen when when we decided to try mixing these ingredients together but uh, it feels great uh, and uh, tastes great too so I uh, hope to see you uh, down here this weekend and uh, thanks again for all your support and uh, please do remember to uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends on social media uh, and other ways and um, also subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so you get notified when we post these videos thanks again have a great day uh, please stay safe uh, please get vaccinated as soon as you can uh, the sooner we all get vaccinated the sooner this cafe and other uh, important businesses and our and other communities can reopen and uh, start making our lives better again so thanks again and look forward to talking with you again soon bye